In this video, I'll be going over how to bend, warp, and twist text to create some awesome t-shirt designs on Canva. Using the Typecraft app on Canva, you can easily manipulate and change the shape of your text however you like. Simply add your text, select the font, and use the editor to bend, warp, or twist your text into your desired shape. This allows you to create some truly unique text t-shirt designs that will grab attention and stand out from the crowd. So let's head over to Canva and get started by going over how to access the Typecraft app. From the Canva homepage, the first thing I want to do is open up a blank t-shirt design project. To do this, let's go to the search bar here and type in t-shirt. From the results, you should see a tab that says t-shirt with a little t-shirt icon beside it. Let's click that now. This will take us to a page where we can access all the t-shirt design templates that are available on Canva. But for this example, I want to open up a blank template, so let's scroll down a bit here and click the Create Blank option. And this should open up a blank t-shirt design project. Let's use the slider bar at the bottom here to zoom in on the template a bit. There we go. That should make things easier to see. So now let's go over how to bend, warp, and twist our text to create our designs. The first thing we'll need to do is access the Typecraft app. To do this, let's look at the menu on the left hand side here and click the Apps tab. This will open up a menu where we can access all the apps that are available on Canva. From the search bar up top here, let's type in Typecraft. From the results, the Typecraft app should be the one with the blue background and the yellow text. Go ahead and select it. If this is your first time using Typecraft, you'll see a page where you can view information about the app. Feel free to read over the app details, and once you're ready, go ahead and click the Open button. And this should open up the Typecraft text editor. Here's where we can fully customize the shape of our text to create some unique designs. So from the menu here, let's use the field up top to type in the text that we want to edit. For my text, I'm going to start with the word living. And keep in mind, whenever you make updates to your text options, you can scroll down and get a preview at the bottom. So if we scroll back up to the top here and look underneath our text field, we can see the tab where we can select our font. If you click this, it'll open up a menu where you can access tons of different fonts that you can use for your text. The font you select will depend on the style of design that you're creating. And if you know the name of your font, you can simply type it in the search bar up top here. So once you find the perfect font for your design, simply click it to select it. You can then click the back button and the preview at the bottom should be updated with your new font. So if we scroll back up and look underneath the font tab, we'll see a section where we can adjust our text style. Here we have the options to leave our text as a solid color, have our text unfilled, or add a colored outline to our text. If I select the unfilled option for example, then scroll down to our preview, we can see the middle of my text is now unfilled leaving only the border. Using the slider bar here, we can adjust our border width, and by clicking the colors icon, we can also select any color that we wish to use for our border. And if we go back up to the style options here and select the outline option, my text should now be a solid color with an outline. And of course, we can use the options here to change the color of our text and the color of our border and adjust our border width. But for my text, I don't need a border, so let's select none under the style options. Now my text should just be a solid color. And if you like, you can change the color of your text by clicking the colors icon here. For my living text, I think I'll change it to red. So now that I've added my text and selected my text options, let's go over how to bend, twist, and warp the text. If we take a look at the text in our preview here, we can see it's surrounded by a box with several points. By simply clicking and dragging a point, you can easily change the shape of that part of your text. With the ability to manipulate your text, you can form it however you like, allowing you to create some really unique custom designs. And using the options here, you have the ability to mirror your points while designing. You can select to mirror points horizontally or vertically, so the same movement is applied evenly to the opposite point. This will allow you to change the shape of your text while keeping everything symmetrical. And of course, if you select no mirror, you can move the points independently however you like. So for my text here, I think I'm actually going to change the font to a different cursive. When designing, feel free to adjust your fonts, your style, your colors, and your mirror points however you need until your text is exactly the way you want it. So I think I'm finished customizing the first word of my design. So to add it to my design template on the right hand side here, let's go down to the bottom 
and click the add element to design button. And my text element should be added to my template. From here, you can simply click and drag it to move it around or drag the corners to resize it. And with your element selected, you can still use the menu on the left hand side to make any changes that you like. And when you click the update element button at the bottom, you'll see your text element update on your template as well. So I think I'm done with my living text here. So now let's add my next text element. If I click off my living text to deselect it, the Typecraft app on the left hand side should also reset as well. So let's scroll back up to the top and type in the text for the next element of my design. If I scroll down, I should see my new text in the preview at the bottom. So just like before, I can now select the font for my text, select the style if I wish, change the color, and use the points in the editor at the bottom to change the shape of my text. And once you're ready, you can click the add element to design button at the bottom to add your new text to your design. From here, feel free to resize, rotate, and arrange your text elements as needed. And remember, with the Typecraft app open, you can select any of the text elements that you've created on your template and use the menu on the left to make any changes that are needed. And when I click the update element button, it'll be updated on my template. So for my t-shirt design, let's go back to the Typecraft app. And for my last word, I'm gonna type in dream. I can then select my font and use the Typecraft app to shape my text. For my design, I'm trying to shape my dream text to fit underneath my top text. I want it to kind of fill in the gaps, so it might take a little adjusting. So here's the text for my living the dream t-shirt design. Now that I've used Typecraft to add my custom text, I can continue creating my t-shirt design by adding other elements, such as supporting graphics. So once you finish creating your design, you can preview how it will look on t-shirt mockups by clicking the print with Canva button up top here. This will open up a menu on the right hand side where you can view t-shirt mockups and where you can order t-shirts if you like as well. You have various options here where you can select your shirt color, the size, and even the type of mockup you want to view. My design was made for a light colored shirt, so let's select white as the color. I can then scroll back up and click the icon here to enlarge the t-shirt mockup. This is a great way to view how your design will look on an actual t-shirt and an actual person. If everything looks good, feel free to order t-shirts using the menu on the left. But for my design, I'm going to download it so I can add it to the products in my print on demand site. To download your design, go ahead and click the share button at the top right. From the drop down menu, let's click the download tab at the bottom. And here's where you can select the options to download your design. Under file type, make sure you have PNG selected. This will download your design with high quality and allow you to remove the background. And using the size slider bar here, I like to increase my design size to about 3500 by 4500 pixels. This will make sure my design is large enough for t-shirts and other products. Also, in order to remove the background from your design, you'll need to select the transparent background option. But keep in mind, in order to resize and download your design with the transparent background, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. To download your design with transparency and access all of Canva's other tools and features, make sure you head over to learnwithjason.com or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial of Canva Pro. So once you finish selecting your download settings, go ahead and go down to the bottom here and click the download button. And my new design should now be downloaded to my device. I can now use my design for t-shirts, print on demand products, or anything else I like. When creating t-shirt designs with the Typecraft app, Sometimes it's best to start by adding your graphics. You can then use the Typecraft app to shape your text and align it perfectly with your selected graphics. This will allow you to create one of a kind designs that grab attention and stand out from the crowd. So that's a quick overview of how to bend, warp, and twist your text using the Typecraft app on Canva. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.